Hi, we've added a few new features to the AudioScan software for our 2021.2 release. Today we're going to quickly cover what's new for Verifit 2, Axiom, and the AudioScan NOAA module. Software for Verifit 2 is now at version 4.26, Axiom is 1.32, and the AudioScan NOAA module will be at 2.22. It's important to always update your NOAA module to retain compatibility with your equipment and the latest data standards. As always, the No Charge software update is available for download on our customer site at customer.audioscan.com. So, what's new in 2021.2? Selectable averaging time in SpeechMap, equipment software updating through NOAA, and for the Verifit 2 only, some updates to the SpeechMap counseling tool. 1. Selectable Averaging Time in SpeechMap When performing measurements in SpeechMap using a calibrated speech stimulus, the middle LTAS curve, which is used to match to target, and the 99th and 30th percentile curves are visible during the initial looping portion of the test. To obtain the actual measurement requires you to click on the red record button and wait for the averaging, which takes approximately 13 seconds. Some people like to let the speech run in the loop mode and make gain adjustments in the hearing instrument fitting software simultaneously. However, this can be difficult as the curves are moving quite quickly. This new feature for Verifit 2 and Axiom allows the selection of a slow averaging time for these live curves. This will slow down the display somewhat and make it more feasible to do some gain adjustments to target while the stimulus is still looping. From the main menu, open Setup and select Speech Map from the left-hand side list. In the General tab, the new setting appears as Short-Term Speech Averaging Time. The Fast setting is the default behavior you're accustomed to. Setting this to Slow will improve the ability to evaluate Match to Target prior to the completion of the test. Note, this setting only affects the looping portion of the test. The final measurement will be unaffected. Also, it's still necessary to press the record button to obtain the final average test result. 2. Updating equipment software through the NOAA module. Currently, Verifit 2 and Axiom equipment software updates are downloaded from the AudioScan website to an internet connected PC. This download is then used to program a USB stick with the update. The update's then installed by connecting the USB stick to the equipment and turning it on. While this is still all possible, the 2021.2 software release for Verifit 2 and Axiom provides a new, potentially more convenient method of updating. When the AudioScan NOAA module is updated, it will now also include any relevant updates to the equipment software. This software will reside on the NOAA PC, ready for later transfer to the equipment. The next time the AudioScan product is connected to the NOAA module, the user gets a prompt to run the update. No more USB sticks. Here's what the NOAA module update notification screen will look like. First, we have the NOAA module software version. In this case, the installed version on the PC and the web upgrade which is the latest available version, are the same, so no action is required. Below, we have the equipment software versions. Installed version is the version currently on your Verifit 2. In this particular case, it's 4.26.1. Local upgrade is the version available locally. In other words, the software that the NOAA module has waiting on the PC. Because this is newer than the installed version, there's a button on the right that will launch the installation. Below that, we also see a web upgrade. This will show up if there's a newer version available online for installation in the traditional manner. In this case, there is a later build, so there's a link shown to the right to allow you to go straight to the download page. Note that the only difference between the three example versions here is the third number, known as the build number. This indicates that no new features are available, so updating would only be necessary if the user was running into difficulties and maybe it was recommended by customer service. 
The process of installing the local version is simple. Click the button marked Install. The module will warn you that the Verifit or Axiom will be offline for a couple of minutes and then show you this busy prompt. The equipment will also display a prompt showing that an update is taking place. Once this is finished, the unit will reboot automatically and be ready for use with the new software update. In the AudioScan NOAA module settings, there are a couple of items you should know about. Unchecking this box will prevent the NOAA module from automatically looking to see if there are new software versions available, either online or local software on the PC. Clicking over here will manually cause the connected module to check for updates. Even if your PC was not internet connected, Clicking here will let you know if there's an equipment software update available locally. A couple more things worth noting here. The local software versions will be available in NOAA Module 2.22 and later. However, the connected Verifit 2 or Axiom would have to be running 4.26 or later or 1.32 or later software, respectively, in order to be updated through this method. This means that for 2021.2, you'll likely be using that USB stick just one more time. 3. Counseling Tool Updates In 2020, we added a new counseling tool to the Verifit2 speech map screen. It's accessed from either of these two buttons and provides a set of simplified tools to support patient counseling in speech map. In the 2021.2 software update, we've made some enhancements to this feature at the request of our users. Once launched, the counseling tool can display data pulled in from SpeechMap, along with a series of overlays. These are organized into three overlay groups. Hearing Test, which deals with the severity of the hearing loss. Hearing Range, to support discussions around reduced dynamic range. And Hearing Aid, which brings the aided and unaided speech spectra into the picture. The most noticeable change here is that all three overlay groups are now available in a dual binaural view. It's possible to select between the single and dual view using this button in the center row. In all three overlay groups, it's also possible to display the common speech sounds, which approximates the spectral positioning of various phonemes. In the initial release of the counseling tool, these were always assumed to be based on 65 dB average speech level. This new update adds the ability to select the soft or loud speech sounds as well. As you can see here, the arrangement of the speech phonemes changes based on input level. This also accounts for the loud vocal effort shaping used for loud speech. Finally, one last tweak to the counseling tool. In each overlay group, the clinician is able to turn on explanatory labels for the elements on screen to aid in the counseling conversation. These have now been expanded to cover more elements, in particular for the hearing range overlay group. As always, thank you for taking the time today to look at these new features. Full instructions are available in the updated user guide included with your download. Please visit our website for software downloads and further information and contact us if you have questions.